आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडे सेशन एट के वी एस आर ओ जबलपुर क्लास ट्वेल्व कॉमर्स बिजनेस स्टडीज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट पार्ट थ्री डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द थर्ड एंड फाइनल वीडियो ऑन सेकेंड यूनिट दैट इज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट आई रिकमेंड दैट यू शुड गो एंड वॉच द प्रीवियसली अपलोडेड वीडियोज सो दैट यू कैन गेट अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिगार्डिंग द सेकेंड यूनिट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट सो इन दिस यूनिट Today we are going to start with the scientific management propounded by F W Taylor Frederick Winslow Taylor so let us begin uh this is the concept map we have already discussed first unit was nature and significance of management then we are right now continuing with principles of management again a sweet reminder to you all plan and manage your time make notes of the chapter you are studying with the help of videos attempt exercise questions given in the ncert books dear students new ncert books for the session 2020 21 are available on the ncert website and they are absolutely free and available for download after uh, completing the uh, practice of the chapter you should go uh, to attempt the case studies uh, which has been asked in previous year board exams watch these videos repeatedly whenever you are having extra time you should watch these videos repeatedly okay so today we are going to start with the uh, scientific management principles propounded by f w taylor and this was the basic concept in class 12th business studies we are supposed to ask uh, supposed to read only the classical management theory which includes the 14 principles propounded by henry fayol who is known as father of general management general and administrative management and today we are going to begin with the scientific principles propounded by frederick winslow taylor who is known as father of scientific management before i proceed to the unit dear student please keep in mind henry fayol's 14th principles were based on observation he simply observed the things and we when he found the repeated outcome they are uh, mean the repeatedly the outcomes are same he propounded the principles on the contrary F W Taylor he did not uh, rely on the trial and error method based on observation rather he did some experimentations therefore his uh, theory of uh, management is called as scientific principles okay so today we are going to begin with the scientific management theory F W Taylor his uh, life span was from 1856 to 1915 he is known as father of scientific management movement lifetime was march 20 1856 to march 21 1915 he was a uh, american mechanical engineer his education was degree in mechanical engineering from stevens institute of technology in 1883 he formulated four principles of scientific management we will discuss them later one by one before we go to the principles let us discuss discuss the definition of scientific management given by frederick winslow taylor taylor was a mechanical engineer he was a, a scientist manager so he was not relying on the observation or trial and error approach his main focus was on knowing the things exactly exactly as they are means he was of the view that the things should be very very clear without any shadow of suspicion so his definition of the management is scientific management is the art of knowing exactly what you want men to do and then seeing that they are doing it in the best and cheapest way dear students he was saying he usually uh, say 
uh, uh, used to say that either you are number वन or you are no वन नंबर वन में से आप एक डॉट हटा दीजिए इधर यू आर नंबर वन और यू आर नो वन किसी भी काम को करने का एक ही तरीका होता है एंड दैट इज द बेस्ट वे सो टेलर वाज नॉट इन अ मूड टू मेक एनी कॉम्प्रोमाइज विद द आउटकम विद द ट्रेनिंग मेथड्स विद द टूल्स विद द स्टैंडर्ड्स एनीथिंग ही वॉज नॉट रेडी टू मेक एनी काइंड ऑफ कॉम्प्रोमाइज सो लेट एस रीड द डेफिनेशन वंस अगेन scientific management is the art of knowing exactly his focus was on knowing exactly for this purpose he conducted many studies known as work study we will discuss in the techniques of scientific management later on in this video only so scientific management is the art of knowing exactly what you want men to do and then seeing that they are doing it in the best way and cheapest way if you remember efficiency says performing the task with the least cost so taylor was a great advocate of effectiveness as well as efficiency together move forward frederick winslow taylor he propounded four principles first was science not rule of thumb this principle says that there can be only a perfect way of doing the things and that perfect way should not be propounded invented merely by trial and error approach rather there should be a scientific way of developing that method it should be based on analysis it should be based on knowledge it should be based on the studies okay taylor maintained that the rule of thumb should be replaced with scientific knowledge i will discuss all these principles one by one again harmony not discord he used to say that there should be harmony in the organization a good environment good relation between workers and managers and there should not be discord discord ka matlab hota hai dispute jhagda so he used to say there should be harmony and not the discord ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हार्मनी होनी चाहिए अच्छा माहौल होना चाहिए गुड रिलेशन होना चाहिए ना कि झगड़े ना कि डिस्प्यूट्स कोऑपरेशन नॉट इंडिविजुअलिज्म नॉट आई रादर वी मैं नहीं हम देयर वाज अ ग्रेट फोकस ऑन ग्रुप अचीवमेंट्स इट रिक्वायर्स अ कंप्लीट मेंटल रिवोल्यूशन ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ बोथ वर्कर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट mental revolution involves a change in the attitude of workers and management towards one another from within without any external pressure taylor wanted that there should be a mental revolution mental revolution means a change of outlook from within without any external pressure workers ko ye samajhna padega कि मैनेजर्स के बिना एंटरप्रेन्योर्स के बिना हमें वर्क प्लेस नहीं मिलेगा हु विल गिव अस सैलरी इफ दे आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग द एवेन्यूज टू वर्क वेयर द वर्कर्स विल वर्क एंड अर्न देयर लाइवलीहुड एट द सेम टाइम द मैनेजर्स द ओनर्स द एंटरप्रेन्योर्स दे विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट विदाउट वर्कर्स दे के नॉट रन देयर इंडस्ट्रीज सो दे बोथ आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू ईच अदर एंड दे के नॉट सर्वाइव इन आइसोलेशन फ्रॉम द अदर पार्टी अदर साइड last is development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity as it is already discussed in the definition that taylor advocated the best way best means if a worker can produce 100 units in a day why today he has performed only 90 units there must be some problem on our behalf because workers have already proved the worker has already proved that one day he he produced 100 units and today he is producing only 90 units there may be some problem on our behalf we have not provided him the correct tool we have not provided him the correct machine correct work working environment and we have not provided him the correct motivation level so the problem is with the management is not with the worker he is able to do he is able to perform 100 units in a day and he is not doing he is not doing today means there is some problem in on our behalf okay so taylor wanted 
in order to maximize the production all possible efforts are to be made to increase the efficiency of the workers so please remind once again there are four principles propounded by f w taylor science not rule of thumb means no trial and error approach harmony not discord cooperation not individualism and development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity let us discuss these principles one by one science not rule of thumb the english phrase rule of thumb refers to the principle with broad application that is not intended to be strictly accurate or reliable for every situation it refers to an easily learned and easily applied procedure or standard based on practical application rather than a theory karke dekhenge ye ho gaya to theek ye nahi hua to second method apply karenge second method bhi fail ho jayega to third method apply karenge this is called as trial and error approach this is not the scientific approach so see in this cartoon the person is trying to fit the shapes some items some uh, physical items in the structure and he is doing it with the trial and error approach he is trying it and trying to put the shapes in the block okay so after doing two errors he came to know okay it will fit in this uh, this uh, block so this is called trial and error approach but taylor advocated a scientific a systematic approach he said first of all there should be imagination after imagination we should explore after explore we should learn after learning we should think and then we should say there is a principle we should know so a systematic approach rather than trial and error approach he advocated so this is called science not rule of thumb second is harmony not discord the main objective of a worker is to earn more and the management is to maximize the production instead of discord for each other's objectives workers can earn more by producing more which will help in maximizing the production also in my uh, view in my opinion this principle of f w taylor actually supports it complements the esprit de corps principle propounded by henry fuel it also says that there should be no class conflict manager and worker should work in coordination with each other rather than the discords rather than the disputes so this is the required approach you are seeing on the screen and this approach this attitude this false ego this false attitude should be avoided third is cooperation not individualism actually this third principle is the extension of second principle of f w taylor in second principle he is saying there should be harmony not the discord jhagda nahi hona chahiye and this is the extension what this principle say there should be cooperation not individualism sachin ki century important nahi hai team ka score important hai meri salary important nahi hai मेरी फर्म का आउटपुट इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज इफ द फर्म इज अर्निंग मोर ऑटोमेटिकली ऑटोमेटिकली नेचुरली माई अर्निंग्स विल बी इंप्रूव्ड सो दिस प्रिंसिपल से इज दैट एक्सटेंशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हार्मनी नॉट डिस्कॉर्ड इट सपोर्ट्स फ्योर्स प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सबॉर्डिनेशन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इंटरेस्ट टू कॉमन इंटरेस्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ प्रिंसिपल प्रपाउंडेड बाई हेनरी फ्योर ऑल्सो एंड दैट वॉज सबॉर्डिनेशन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल इंटरेस्ट टू कॉमन इंटरेस्ट अपने इंटरेस्ट को सेक्रीफाइस करके पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट को सेक्रीफाइस करके भी अगर हमें ग्रुप के इंटरेस्ट फॉलो करने पड़े उनको अचीव करना पड़े वी शुड फॉलो दिस मेथड इन दिस एक्चुअली दिस पिक्चर हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम अ वेरी फेमस कार्टून मूवी विच आई यूज टू सी इन माई चाइल्ड हुड स्विम मी सो दे वर मेनी फिश स्मॉल फिश एंड अ बिग फिश फिश वॉज अटैकिंग दैम दे ऑल बिकेम टूगेदर and actually they attacked that big fish combinedly and they could achieve their aim of safety and last is development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity uh, when uh, honorable uh, lalu ji was the minister railway minister 
he visited iim and a student asked sir how could you uh, convert it this loss running railways into a profit running organization so he simply replied ki dekhiye main to gaon wala hu gwala hu and main itna janta hu ki agar main apni gai aur bhains ka pura doodh nahi nikalunga wo bimar pad jayenge so this was a very very uh, simple explanation of this principle development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity dear students we must try to explore the resources of organization in the best possible manner in the appropriate manner then only our organization will be achieving efficiency as well as effectiveness okay uh, i know that in uh, private organizations and industries they are running three shifts mean their machines are working 24 hours a day they are having three shifts of 8 hours per shift so their machines are running 24 hours with small rests and they are using their human resource in rotation means the human resources are working in a shift of 8 hours per day okay do what is needed then do what is possible and suddenly you will find that you are doing impossible because impossible itself says i am possible so this principle focuses on making the person at the top of his efficiency now how these are the principles propounded by henry fuel uh, w taylor and now let us see what are the techniques propounded by uh, f w taylor using which we can achieve the scientific management in our organization you will find it very interesting very first thing is functional foremanship now i would like to recall you all that even henry fuel in its first principle says division of work there should be division of work on the basis of specialization in the same way in the same manner f w taylor also advocates that there should be division of work on the basis of specialization so that division of work is called functional foremanship he says that the lower level managers should be divided in two groups one group will be planning group other group will be production or execution group the planning group will not interfere in the work of production group and production group will not interfere in planning group so this is also called commonly it is known as eight boss scheme kyunki yahan pe total eight bosses the so this uh, functional foremanship is also called as eight boss scheme okay so what were the total eight bosses there were four planning in charge instruction card clerk route clerk time and cost clerk and disciplinarian in production in charges there were gang boss there were repair boss there are inspectors and there are speed boss so let us see what are their functions in planning department there are route clerks dear students their main functions i have highlighted in bold letters in green font root clerk was supposed to fix up the sequence of steps of performing the mechanical or manual job inka kaam ye tha ki operational chart banana ek flow chart banana ki kaun si cheeze kis sequence mein ki jayengi ek unka order taiyar karna this was the work of root clerk in planning department the another clerk is instruction card clerk his main work is to issue the general instructions which are necessary to carry out a particular job in a specific manner like how this task will be performed where root clerk is deciding the sequence the instruction card clerk is telling how the method how the work will be performed time and cost clerk this foreman is responsible to fix up the time for starting and completing the job he also prepare the cost sheet for every job because it is very important to reduce the cost also for achieving the maximum level of efficiency in planning department the last one was disciplinarian and the main task of this foreman 
is to see the performance of job in orderly and systematic way that everyone is following the rules or instructions issued to them so maintain the discipline is the main task of disciplinarian in production department there were four bosses first is gang boss his duty is to arrange all the machines tools and other resources required from for performance of the job so that there is no delay remember this is the production department and their main task is to execute planning department's main task is to plan the things and production department has to execute the plans made by planning department second is the speed boss he assures the timely completion of the tasks repair bosses their main task is to keep all the machines and tools in proper working condition whenever there is a repair required he will go and attend the complaint the last person in the production department is inspector and his main task is quality control he will see the quality checks he will have a standard sheet and he will check all the things all the production all the final production on that uh, uh, checklist that uh, the main product uh, the main output the thing which has been produced are meeting all the standards as per the uh, planning department or not so this were this was the functional foremanship or eight boss scheme propounded by f w taylor there were two departments planning and production department each department having four bosses in each department and they were not supposed to interfere in each other's work next is a uh, functional foremanship at a glance let us see taylor taylor advocated the functional foremanship for achieving the ultimate specification the technique was developed to improve the quality of work as single supervisor may not be expert in all the aspects of the work therefore workers are to be supervised by a specialist foreman the scheme of functional foremanship is an extension of principle of specialization at the supervisory level or we can say the uh, division of work taylor advocated appointment of eight foreman four at planning level and other four at implementation level i hope by the end of this slide you are uh, very much sure that what functional foremanship is so functional foremanship is first and very important technique uh, of scientific management let us move forward in the scientific techniques the other one was very important that is called as work study dear students the uh, abdul taylor uh, he was of the view that there should not be any trial and error approach everything should be known exactly so on the word exactly he was very very focused very very emphasizing so to know the things exactly he conducted many studies he was working at bethlehem steel company and he conducted many studies at that unit so very first was method study i have highlighted these keywords which will help you to attempt the case studies in your board exam if you remember these keywords so method study it is saying there should be a standard method to perform any task there should not be trial and error approach ki karke dekhenge usi se mein random approach hum follow karenge aisa nahi hona chahiye there should be a standard way to perform any task so taylor wanted that that way should be based on our studies it should not be a random method after careful study and analysis of job methods for every job are standardized these methods are to be applied to eliminate the defects of hit or miss method of traditional management that is called as replacement of old thumb rule it can be simplified by, uh, the operations by simplifying the use of tools and equipments eliminating unnecessary actions and movements integration of incidental activities reducing the distance between place of storing and consuming the raw material and improving the storing and inspection facilities uh, you have observed in your life also that whenever you are approaching a place you come you you come to know that to approach this place kahi pe jaane ke liye there may be one way there may be other way there may be one another way in the due course of time you come to know that this is the best way best method best road i should follow to reach at a particular place 
सो नाउ यू आर अवेयर दैट आई विल गो टू माई स्कूल यूजिंग दिस वे ओनली दिस रोड ओनली एवरी डे सो यू हैव कम टू कम टू अ बेस्ट मेथड टू परफॉर्म एनी टास्क ओके सो टेलर सेट दैट इन वर्क स्टडी द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टडी वॉज मैथड स्टडी एंड द पर्पज ऑफ दिस स्टडी वॉज एलिमिनेशन ऑफ डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ हिट और मिस मैथड ट्रायल एंड एर मैथड एंड टू डेवलप अ स्टैंडर्ड वे टू परफॉर्म एनी टास्क सो ऑल द वर्कर्स वर्किंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर सपोज टू परफॉर्म दैट टास्क इन दैट पर्टिकुलर मैथड ओनली ओके सेकेंड इज टाइम स्टडी Dear students, whenever there is time study in your exam, there will be a point called as stopwatch. Time study. Remember two things about time study. The purpose of time study. I am I am saying it very slowly, so please keep it in your mind. The purpose of time study is to determine the time taken by average worker to perform a task. किसी काम को करने में एक एवरेज वर्कर को कितना समय लगता है ये डिफाइन करना टाइम स्टडी का पर्पज है ओके okay, तो वो टाइम लिमिट हम हर वर्कर के लिए डिटरमाइन कर देंगे जो उसको फॉलो करता है ही विल बी कॉल्ड एज एवरेज वर्कर हु कैन परफॉर्म इवन अर्लियर विल बी कॉल्ड एज एफिशिएंट वर्कर और जो उतने स्टैंडर्ड टाइम में उसको परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाता है ही विल बी कॉल्ड एज एन इन एफिशियंट वर्कर एंड ही विल रिक्वायर सम काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग और सम काइंड ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट so time study is performed with the help of a stopwatch the purpose of time study is to know the standard time taken by a average worker third study conducted by f w taylor was motion study the purpose of motion study is to eliminate useless motions remember the purpose of motion study is to eliminate unnecessary motions when he was working in the bethlehem steel company he was observing that people are loading and unloading coal from one place to another and at that time f w taylor observed that people are performing many unnecessary motions which are not only consuming time but also causing the cost to the organization he tried to define that there can be 17 standard motions which should be performed by the worker only although taylor was also criticized on this point because he was assuming that the workers are not workers they are like machines so he was criticized uh, criticized also at that time but we are studying the motion study the purpose of motion study is to eliminate the unnecessary or useless motions performed by the workers if you have visited any kind of service center at honda hero honda bajaj or any car showroom you must have visited the workshop where services are done if you have seen these are called as bays bay b a y so these services bay are having all the equipments placed at one place so the worker need not to give, go here and there he knows that everything will be available at a hands reach it will not only remove the unnecessary motions but will also save time and cost for the organization the last study in work study was fatigue study and fatigue study was conducted to know when the worker is exhausted uh ye janna bahut zaruri hai ki worker kab apne saturation point pe pahunch chuka hai kyunki uske baad bhi agar hum usse ummeed karenge ki wo kaam kare then his output will go in negative so at that time we need to give him a rest a break a interval when taylor applied this thing all the industrialists were against him so he conducted a small study on a small uh, group of workers and the output was improved from 1 to 1.67 then all the industrialists came to know that there is a need of rest because that rest is not a wastage of time and resources rather it recharges the worker for producing even more so fatigue study fatigue means thakan ye janna bahut zaruri hai ki kab hamara worker exhausted hai usse hum usko rest interval introduce karke usko recharge kar sakte hain and he can even give the better output so this was the work study work study is, uh, includes four things number one method study number two motion study number three time study and number four fatigue study this all is called as work study so now till now we have discussed 
two techniques of scientific management first is functional foremanship and second is work study coming to the third technique of scientific management it is standardization and simplification dear students have you ever uh, thought that you can take your bike to any service center and get a part repair or replaced अगर आपकी गाड़ी का कोई पुर्जा या पार्ट खराब हो जाता है तो आप उसको देश के किसी भी शोरूम में ले जा करके आप उसे रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं सो रिप्लेसेबिलिटी इज ड्यू टू स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन मींस यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स मींस ऑल द थिंग्स आर हैविंग कॉमन स्टैंडर्ड कॉमन डायमेंशन कॉमन क्वालिटी ओके सो स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड एक्चुअली टेलर एडवोकेटेड स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन अप टू अ ग्रेटर लेवल he said that everything should be standardized the working atmosphere training methods selection of workers tools and equipments quality controls everything should be standardized he said that there can be only one best way for anything and that the best way should be applied everywhere let it be tools or equipments let it be training methods let it be selection of workers or let it be the organizational atmosphere or deciding the goals so best way should be approached standardization says that physical attitude of product should be such that it meets uh, the requirement and needs of customers he also said that tools and equipments the are all in working condition and they are standardized to achieve the standard output from the workers standardization also means achieving economy of production it seems to assure that line of product is structured to predetermined type form design size weight quality etc there is manufacture of identical part identical part ko focus kar lijiyega all the things should be of same standard identical parts and components qualities and standards have to be maintained standards of performance are established for workers at all levels you can see some uh, examples of standardization at mcdonalds i have done some research and you will come to know that this billing machine which is developed by panasonic for all the mcdonald all over the world they are using the common billing machine at all the outlets of mcdonalds so there is standardization even at the billing machine second example you will see that all the menu food menu and price are standardized they are common all over the world almost same menus offer all over the world with little variations even you can see that cruise uniform or interior decoration or external decoration exterior decoration they are almost uniform at all over the world so mcdonalds follows the standardization up to a great level uh in continuation of the standardization and simplification simplification is also very much emphasized by f w taylor let me tell you an example of simplification at mcdonalds all workers working in the kitchen and all people all crew members have to maintain the hygiene at a great level they are supposed to wash their hands for 2 minutes so this is standardization that all workers have to wash their hands rinse their hands for at least 2 minutes but all workers how can they watch the uh, means see the watch for 2 minutes and washing their hands it's a very very boring job boring task and it is very much required also for the hygiene of the customers so what they have invented they have placed a thing that sing happy birthday to you song twice while applying the soap on your hands and rinsing your hands it becomes very simple see the thinking part is of managers the workers are supposed to perform the task and if we expect the workers can apply their brain also it will become very difficult so we have to maintain the high level of standardization but we have to keep the things simple at workers level when they have to apply so we have to tell them the things the standardized things in a very very simple way for example the workers will sing apply the soap in their hands and they'll say happy birthday to you 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to hmm hmm. Happy birthday to you. They'll do it for two minutes singing happy birthday twice. So automatically in a very very simple way they are following standardization also and they are uh, using the simplification also. So I found it very inter interesting. Okay, next very very important, very very important technique is differential piecewise system. See, the tailor said in its fourth principle that every worker should be developed to his or her greatest efficiency. How to ensure that? If a worker can produce 100 units and today he is producing only 90 units because he is having lack of motivation. Why to complete the target of 100 units? What will be the achievement? So there is a lack of motivation for producing 100 or for giving 100% outcome in the minds of workers. So Taylor found out a very very invented a very very uh, innovative method that is called as differential piece way system. According to this method all workers are not treated same. They will not be paid in the same manner. Ek worker hai jo mere yaan, hum logo ne bana rakha hai ki daily aapko 10 units banane hai. So a worker is uh, making 9 units. He will get the salary accordingly, he will get the wages accordingly. The person who is working 10 units, making 10 units, will get wages accordingly. And an efficient worker who is producing 11 units, even more than the set target, he will also get, uh, get the wages at the same rate. So there is a lack of motivation. So wage system plus incentive becomes differential piece wage system. Dear students, always remember when the question related to differential piecewise system comes in your exam, you have to give the numerical example. It is very very necessary must. So let us see an example. For example, in our organization, there is a standard policy that a worker who is producing 10 units will be called as average worker. If a worker is producing 10 units in a day will be counted as average worker and he will be paid at the rate 100 units, 100 rupees per unit. So in that way, his daily wages will be rupees 1000. But now we apply the differential piecewise system. I mean there should not be a uniform piecewise system for all the workers. There should be a segregation between efficient, non-efficient and average worker. So below average worker, for example, he is producing only 9 units. He will not be paid at a standard rate rupees 100 per unit. Rather, he will be paid at a lesser rate. So he will be motivated to complete at least, at least daily standards. That is 10 units. Agar hum usko uske 9 units ka jo payment karenge, wo 90 rupay se karenge, to uske wages kaafi reduce hai, to wo hi koshish karega ki ek unit aur bana karke, kam se kam mein aaj ka daily standard fulfill kar loon, so that I can earn rupees 1000 in my standard wages. At the same time, to motivate the worker up to their greatest efficiency, next level, we also keep a higher rate for extra efficient workers. If a worker is producing 11 units within the same infrastructure, then he should be paid at a higher rate. There should be some kind of motivation for such a worker. So if a worker is producing 11 units, his all units will be paid at a higher rate. And he will get the highest wages that is rupees 1210, 1210 rupees per day. And this differential piece wage system was focusing on development of each and every person to his or her greatest efficiency. In this way, we come to an end of techniques of scientific management. All the scientific techniques were not applicable without the complete change in the mental outlook of the workers. So Taylor wanted that all the workers should have a clear cut view that without manager workers cannot survive, without workers managers cannot survive. I hope you found it interesting and the concept is clear to you. Dear students, keep, the video, uh, keep watching the video again and again and keep attempting the exercises also. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Stay inside. Thank you.